Hi friends, it's Ms. Erin and Connor and Shelby. Hi. Today we're going to be doing a rainbow rain science experiment. We're going to use our jug of water. We filled up about three quarters. We used some shaving cream and we put some food coloring and diluted it with some water. And Shelby's going to use the blue food coloring. I'm going to use the green food coloring and Connor is going to use the red food coloring. We've also got our drip droppers. There we go. Remember in our classroom, friends, you guys used to use these. We have the ball on top and we would squeeze it with our pincher fingers. You remember? And when we did that, we put it in the liquid. We'd squeeze it with our pincher fingers and let it go. And that way it fills up inside our tube. And then when we're ready to let it out, we squeeze the ball again and it comes right out. We're gonna use that. I'm gonna shake up my shaving cream so we can put it right inside. We're gonna make our cloud with this. Here we go. Oh yeah. Fill that up. <laughs> shaving cream smells good too. All right, so we have our water. We have our shaving cream. Now we're gonna add in our food coloring. Ready? Here we go. Here comes some green. I'm squeezing it on the ball with my pincher fingers. There we go. Ooh, we got red and green and blue right inside. And then what we should see is as it filters through the shaving cream, through our cloud, it's going to start coming out through the bottom. Oh, I can see a little bit coming out on the side. I don't know, can you guys see that? Starting to come out through the bottom? Let's keep adding some more. What's happening is when we put in the food coloring, what's heavier is settling down to the bottom. So the food coloring is heavier than the shaving cream. Just like in rain clouds, when water molecules collect together, they start leaking out through the bottom because there's they're so much heavier when they start collecting. So that's when we get to feel the rain. Oh wow, can you see? There's lots coming out. That's fun. As the, as the color is coming down to the bottom, it's coming down straight and kind of separating a little bit. If I try turning it, the colors won't stay separated. They'll start mixing. Here we go. And up on top, we still have color on top too. That's pretty fun. You can use whatever colors you want with your food coloring. If you want, you can do it with your family. Have fun. See you later. Bye-bye.